So in case people come by, I'll just be a few minutes. Okay. So what is your top tip for vegans who want to build muscle? Top tip for vegans who want to build muscle is to understand your own basal metabolic rate, understand Harris Benedict equation. What is your true caloric expenditure and what is your true caloric intake? 99% of people don't know. How can you possibly expect to build muscle, burn fat, achieve any other fitness outcome if you don't know where you're starting from and don't know where you're headed? So, under- all teens. Calling all teens. <laughs> Calling all teens. Oh, that's good. Uh, so I don't know if I can talk over that. I'll try. Okay. Uh, just wait for a sec. Okay, cool. Okay, so so you've got to uh, you have got to understand uh, what position you need to put yourself in in order to build muscle. For example, uh, th- these are things based on your gender, age, height, weight, and very importantly, activity level. So I'm uh, male, 35 years old, roughly six feet tall, 190 pounds. Uh, based on my true activity level, I expend about 3,400 calories per day. What does that mean? It means to in order for me to stay at this chiseled, handsome. 190 pounds, I need to eat about 3,400 calories a day to maintain. If I want to build, then I need to consume a surplus of caloric intake. So I need to eat more like 4,000 calories a day. may seem like a lot, but again, I'm burning a ton, nearly 3,500 a day. And as long as I consume those calories from plant-based whole foods, not foods that are processed, refined carbohydrates, refined sugars, oils, supplements, and all that, as long as it's truly whole foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, seeds, legumes, then that will go to build and repair muscle and not be stored as fat because I'm not eating a lot of just excess fat through all those other things I mentioned. So that is how you do it. And then you do it through consistency, which leads to adaptation, which leads to improvement. Success is a byproduct of that. That means consistency with diet, understanding that things compound. You can't eat 4,000 calories today, 2,800 tomorrow, 3,200 the next day, back up to 3,800, down to 2,400. It's not going to get you anywhere as far as muscle building, and it's also consistency when we're talking about exercise. You've got to put stress onto the muscles, do compound multi-joint movements. That is dumbbells, barbells, maybe five days a week, whatever it is that's going to make you consistent and allow adaptation to kick in. For most people, it tends to be four to six days a week, making sure there's one or two rest days in there to recover. So that's how to do it. It comes down to consistency, accountability, and transparency. That's the tip. Sweet.